In this video I will explain how to calculate the matrix modular inverse of a 2 times 2 matrix. In order to decrypt messages that have been encrypted using the matrix multiplication based Hill cipher crypto system, you need to be able to find the multiplicative inverse of a matrix modulo n. As you know from linear algebra, a matrix A is only invertible if and only if the determinant is not zero. On top of that, the elements inside the matrix need to have a multiplicative inverse modulo n, which means the greatest common divisor of A and n needs to be 1. In this case, we say that A and n are co-prime. This is definitely assured if n is a prime number, so for the following algorithm we assume that the amount of elements in the alphabet is prime. Why does the matrix used as the key in the Hill cipher crypto system even needs to have an inverse? Well, if it doesn't you can encrypt messages, but even with the knowledge of how to derive the decryption function out of the encryption function, it wouldn't be possible to decrypt the message since the matrix is not invertible. In terms of security it would be beneficial, but it's not suitable for practical usage. Let's do an example. Given the following 2 times 2 matrix. Let's assume we operate in modulo 29. 29 is a prime number. First of all, we simply invert the matrix as known from linear algebra without any modular arithmetic. For that, we write the matrix and the 2 times 2 identity matrix side by side and convert the matrix on the left hand side into the identity matrix. Every single operation we apply to the left hand side is similarly applied to the right hand side. To start, let's add the first row to the second row. After that, subtract the second row from the first row. Finally, you could divide the second row by 2. As a result, you get this matrix. Now you can apply the modular operation for each element in the matrix. But what happens with the fractions in the second row? Because these fractions are no integers and we operate in modulo 29. Remember that you can rewrite the fraction 1 divided by a to a to the minus 1 for a is not equal to 0. Similarly, you can rewrite b divided by a to b times a to the minus 1. a to the minus 1 can be interpreted as the multiplicative inverse of the integer a modulo n. If we rewrite the elements in our inverse matrix with that knowledge, we get this matrix. What you need to do now is to find the multiplicative inverse of 2 modulo 29. How do you do that? Well, by using the extended Euclidean algorithm. First, you need to apply the Euclidean algorithm to find the greatest common divisor of 29 and 2. 29 equals 14 times 2 plus 1, and 2 equals 2 times 1 plus 0. So the greatest common divisor of 29 and 2 is 1. These two elements are co-prime, so the inverse of 2 modulo 29 exists. But we already knew that since 29 is a prime number. The extended Euclidean algorithm gives you a linear combination of the two numbers 29 and 2. The factor t will be the multiplicative inverse of 2 modulo 29. Simply subtract 14 times 2 from 29 and you'll get this statement. t is minus 14. So the multiplicative inverse of 2 modulo 29 is minus 14. You can check this result by simply calculating 2 times minus 14 modulo 29, which gives you 1, so this answer is correct. Now you simply replace 2 to the minus 1 by the calculated multiplicative inverse of 2 modulo 29 and you're done. Thanks for watching. If there are any questions left, please leave them in the comments.